Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, last night the Rules Committee met and reported a rule, House Resolution 681, providing for consideration of H.R. 1435. The rule provides for consideration of H.R. 1435 under a closed rule with that one hour of debate, equally divided and controlled by the chair and ranking minority member of the Committee on Energy and Commerce or their designees. The rule does provide one motion to recommit. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of the rule and I rise in support of the underlying bill. Today, the Republican majority continues to stand between President Biden and, and the, their disastrous policies that they want to inflict on the American public. Mr. Speaker, this bill is pretty simple. Republicans are for consumer choice. Democrats apparently are not. Democrats don't like it when consumers have choices. It seems that our friends across the aisle, however well-intentioned they may be, are a bit squeamish about leaving choices in the hands of consumers because, Mr. Speaker, in their heart of hearts, they don't trust consumers. They think they will make the wrong choice. The tendency among my, amongst my Democratic friends is emblematic of the larger liberal movement. That perspective, Mr. Speaker, can be distilled succinctly. The general population requires guidance and directions from elites who are more enlightened to prevent them from making decisions that contradict progressive principles. So, Mr. Speaker, I applaud my good friend from Pennsylvania, Dr. Joyce, for standing between the Democrats and their central planners and protecting American consumers. Without this bill, Mr. Speaker, California and other Democratic states could effectively ban internal combustion engines for all Americans, regardless of where they reside. This is not what the founders intended when they designed our federalist system. But a de, a de facto ban on the combu internal combustion engine is the point, Mr. Speaker. When President Biden and his surrogates in the Democratic Party said, and I quote, Mr. Speaker, to end fossil fuels as we know them, end quote, shame on us if we don't take the Democrats at their word when they say things like that. I understand that my friend and fellow member of the Rules Committee, who, who I have the privilege of debating today on the floor, will likely tell us the standards that California is looking to implement are the prerogative of California, and in most circumstances, I would agree with that. But this isn't most circumstances, Mr. Speaker. What California is trying to do is to usher in a de facto ban on the internal combustion engine nationwide. I will give my friends across the aisle cunning for their initiative. Democrats have known that several states are aligned with California in such a manner that allows California to set vehicle emission standards that other states must then follow why any state would surrender their own sovereignty to another is not consistent with this country's founding. There's a debate, Mr. Speaker, there, but it's for another day. This is why we Republicans, particularly Republicans on the Energy and Commerce Committee, oppose state attempts to ban the internal combustion engine. This will adversely affect all Americans. Mr. Speaker, California's waiver is a Trojan horse. What Democrats can't win at the ballot box, they intend to farm out to their friends in federal agencies. California is part of America, but does not speak for the whole of America. Mr. Speaker, with that, I'll reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from Texas reserves.